trick review. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Welcome back to Hack Magic. Today we're going to start doing something a little bit different. Again, in this series of videos, what we're going to be doing is going through and reacting to classic tricks in magic. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about rabbits out of top hats or the, the giant linking ring things. I'm talking about modern tricks that you might have seen done on TV or the internet before. These ratings and all that stuff is purely my own opinion and it's just based on... Hmm. It's based on what I think of the trick from an artistic perspective. It has nothing to do with sleight of hand, nothing to do with execution, nothing to do with the method of the trick. It's just whether or not I think it's a cool trick, basically. Today, we're gonna start with Chris Angel. Now, in the magic community, Chris Angel has always been a pretty divisive character. Personally, I got into magic because of Chris Angel. I saw his Mind Freak TV series years ago now, and it had a really significant impact on me. So while some of the stuff might seem a little bit dated now, Hello 240p! You've got to remember that this happened in the mid-2000s, at the height of that kind of goth, emo, cool thing. So yeah, without any further ado, we'll, um, we'll just jump straight into the clips. Here we go, clip number one. I'm going to try to show you something that's probably a little unusual. Do you have any change on you? This Not, is okay, one of my favorite do. tricks. Great, what do you have? Accordion. Hands down. Perfect. I want you to sign the front and back of that quarter. You can sign it with your initial. You'd put whatever you'd whatever you'd like on there. Good. So you would be able to identify that quarter yes. when you see it again, right? Yes. Okay, good. You should take the quarter, place it into my hand. You have a shot of that. It says Ka. K A. What's your first name? Kristen. Kristen, and your last name? Ashe. Ashe, okay. Great display. Great display. But wait, it gets better, it gets better. You see this? If you're squeamish, look away now. Is that your signature? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that your signature? Golden. Golden. Yes. <laughs> Chris is a very innovative magician. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> I remember a magician, Wayne Houchin, um, once said, nobody ever thinks, how did you do that? The first question they think is, why would you do that? <laughs> I think it's really, really cool. I love this trick, I always have, and I've always wanted to do my own version of it. Um, keep an eye out for that one day. Maybe. Okay. Next clip, next clip. Okay, this one here's a card trick. Hey guys, how are you? What's your name? Matt. Matt, pleasure to meet you. Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. You guys play cards at all? Play slot machines with you? Yeah, poker. Poker, okay, so you're poker players. Very, very good. So you really understand the odds of poker, right? You understand the, uh, the odds of cards. And the casino always has the advantage. Well, what I'm going to try to do with you is either all about percentages, fate, luck, or a little of intuition, a little bit of everything, all right? I'm just going to try something with you mm -hmm. right now. I have 
a deck of cards. I'm going to actually ask you to hold on to them. Okay? We'll try this with you. I'm going to ask you to, uh, to name any one of the 52 cards. Name one for me. Okay. Eight of spades. You see that? You see that there? Of the 52 cards. Name one for me. Okay. Eight of spades. His own deck of cards. That's when you know you've made it. When you have your own deck of cards. Eight of spades, okay? Eight of spades is your selection. And I'm going to ask you to name a number between 1 and 52. 27. If you'd like to change your mind, change it right now. You want to keep 27. 27. Either he's uh, confident or he's just bluffing you right now. <laughs> I, I want to get, let's get down on the ground here. I want to show you something kind of interesting. Now you said your card was, once again? Eight of spades. Eight of spades. 27. 27. Look, I'm going to take the cards have been in full view at all times. Am I correct? Yep. Nothing in the box. Nothing in the box. You hold on to that. Look. You want me to deal them face up or face down? It's up to you. Face up. Face up. 27. Eight of spades. Watch. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now, tell us how unbelievable the odds would be if this was the card that you just named. It's near impossible. It pretty much is. What was the card again? Eight of spades. Please. Thank you. You want to play some? I'll give him that. I will give him that. On TV, you always might think there's things set up and. Now. As cool as I think that trick is, I think it's really cool from a method standpoint. This is a trick which has been done many times uh, over the years and Chris Angel certainly wasn't the first one to do it. There's a whole bunch of different methods for achieving a trick like this. And as cool as it is, it's not particularly exciting to watch, right? <laughs> you name a number, you name a card, and you, they, you got to deal down to the card. There's a lot of build up for this one moment and you can kind of see where it's going from the very beginning. Um, I, I, I'd give it a... Four, four out of five. Okay, now this is the last clip. This is probably like his biggest video ever. Uh, it just, it, the world went nuts. Okay, so, uh, just check this out. What's your name? Emily, nice to meet you. Could you come right over here for me for a second? And I want you to lay down for me. Okay, perfect, just like that. And put your head back. That's the I best quality you. I could find, okay, by the way. Okay, put your hands <laughs> over here. Just like that. And grab her wrist for me, okay? Just don't let go of her wrist. And would you be kind to grab her, uh, her ankles, okay? Just grab her ankles. You can pick up her legs. Is that okay? You okay? Okay, good, good. What we're going to try here is I'm going to ask you to apply equal pressure, okay? Both of you are going to apply equal pressure. And just keep on pulling, all right? Just pull as if you want to drag her off the bench. You pull as if you want to drag her off the bench this way, okay? Okay, are you okay? Do me a favor, close your eyes for a second. Perfect. All right, good. I want you to apply even pressure. I want you to just close your eyes. Relax, okay? And I want you to just pull right now. Just pull. Pull! Pull! Oh, hey, no. oh. 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 Can we ask you? Yes. What, what did you what, what did you just say? Uh, unbelievable. I don't know what just happened. Look. I'm sure you, I don't know what just happened. Her legs went one way and her head and the rest of her body went the other way. I just stopped the legs down. Scary. Look, I'm just shaking. This is scary. This was unbelievable how he did that. I don't know. That's amazing. 
Ah, oh, okay. That one is an absolute classic. Um, <laughs> every time you see uh, a soaring in half illusion, of which there's many varieties out there, it's always done with some kind of cover or some kind of big table or whatever. But the cool thing about that version is that it's just lay the person down, pull them in half. Regardless of how getting into methods and stuff of how it works, um, I I gotta give that a five out of five. It's so raw. I love magic that is just there's no fluff, there's no extra bits and pieces. It's just look, watch, bam, something amazing happens. And I think this is a classic example of that. Yeah, and so that's it. If you enjoyed this idea of trick review. Uh, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what it is you guys think and if it's worth doing it again. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like it, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, keep good.